Hello everyone, this is going to be the gaming test video for the OnePlus 12R. Yes, this phone is not new and it has been released for like a month or two, I can't remember. Uh, the reason why I got it late is because suddenly OnePlus Malaysia just messaged me and said, Hey, you guys want to review the OnePlus 12R? And I said, yes, because this phone is interesting. It's technically, uh, well, I would have to say it's more like a rebranded OnePlus 11 because you kind of get the same specs. But of course, there are some changes here and there, which we will get to in the full review. Because in this video, we are only going to talk about the gaming performance. Now, the OnePlus 12R does come with pretty good specs, I would say. Actually, top of the line specs, even for the year 2024. And as you can see here, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. And then we have... 2780 by 1264 pixels in resolution. It's actually a lot higher in terms of resolution. And then lastly for the RAM, we got 16 gigs of LPDDR5, which is the best that we can get here in terms of both capacity and also the RAM speed. Because RAM speed matters, you can watch it at the top right corner there to know why. RAM speed always matter more than capacity. So for this case in particular, we have all of these games. I will skip PUBG New State, but maybe just show you the graphical settings and whatnot. So let's head into Genshin Impact first. So now I'm in the game and I'm just going to show you what kind of graphical settings that we're using. So graphics is technically everything at the highest at 60 FPS. So let me show you real quick. Everything highest, 60 FPS. So I am just going to run around the city to show you the graphical performance first and then we will also do something uh, that I usually don't do on mobile. So loading speed is pretty quick within region so that is to be expected so there's a quick hiccup there because everything is loading for the first time. Kind of expected. Oh, I should show you this as well. So in any phones that is running this UI, actually Oppo and OnePlus, uh, you have this menu, so you should change to Pro Gamer Mode for technically the highest performance possible. And then you can also enable this feature here, the system status, to check out all of the CPU, GPU utilization, as well as the FPS. And then, uh, yeah, you, you can do a few things here like Hyper HD and whatnot. I really don't see that much of a difference when we turn on Hyper HDR, so uh, you know what, we will leave that for the full review. I will not touch that for now. So yeah, let's just run around. I recently finally got this wind boy here and also the pressure washer simulator. So this guy is real cool. So basically what we're gonna do in this video for at least a while is to find some treasures within the Sumeru Desert because I technically have not finished this area yet and I want to complete it before the, the what's that place called again, the version 5.0 area, whatever that's gonna call. You know, this place is quite miserable if you want to find treasures because once you use the treasure compass, it will tell you, hey, the item is actually underground and you have to find the path to go underground. Uh, th that's technically the issue that I'm having right now. I don't know where the treasure is. It shows it's under this part. Oh, why did it have a highlight? Hey, treasure there. See, see, see the issue here? Should I go down or should I go up? Ouch. Yeah, that's the problem with not having C1 for this guy. You need a shooter to prevent this guy from getting interrupted from his from his this this pressure washer 
Ya. Tells me to go straight to this, but why? I should go across the mountain. There we go. You know what, I'm not sure what's the render resolution of this game for this phone but I can tell you that it is actually rather smooth. We've been in the game for like nearly 15 minutes or so. So far, no signs of thermal throttling and that is what I like about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 compared to the 8 Gen 3. Because the 8 Gen 3, when you push it to deliver more performance, it will actually heat up a lot and that is where the thermal throttling will happen on the 8 Gen 3. So if you are considering to buy the 8 Gen 3 for gaming, maybe you should pay attention to the 8 Gen 2 because the newer isn't necessarily always better in this case. Oh, bang of the music. Hey, hey, hey. The bird just flew away. So in terms of my finding with this phone, I would have to say uh, render resolution rather high. I'm not sure what's the value but it doesn't have those weird thoughts like any other lower render resolution phones that I have tried. And also no frame drops, the phone doesn't feel particularly hot like the 8 Gen 3 phones. So um, what I'm referring to here is that when you have used all of the phones that they are releasing for the past like two years then you start to realize that well 8 gen 2 is actually a very efficient chipset i mean if you look at the who is that guy again the geeker one graph for the uh you know the, the efficiency curve versus performance that you're gonna get the 8 gen 2 is excellent but then you cannot push it to give you more performance even if you want to so the 8 Gen 3, you can push it to give you more performance at the cost of efficiency which I personally don't like because even if you, let's just say scroll Facebook for example uh, if you start to stream a video then it will consider that task to be uh, demanding and then it will start to push more performance out of it for no reason and then you start to just lose battery out of nowhere Oh, that was fast. So we've been out here for like about 20 minutes or so. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to head into Abyss. But I'm going to do only until like floor... Uh, let's just say floor 10? Or floor 11 maybe? I'm not sure. So yeah, previously I got 36 star thanks to the Nouvellet. So... Uh, so reaction blah 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 okay not gonna bother much with all of those enemies i'm gonna bring this team uh this this who is that guy again uh oprah lady where's my oprah lady oprah lady yo oh and this one secondly i'm gonna bring this this 
this. I don't know why they don't have any way to sort all of these characters each time I want to select them. I get a headache. So I know many of our viewers actually play uh, Abyss using phones, so I kind of have to do tests using Abyss now. I mean, yeah, yeah, phone tests with Abyss. But uh, the thing is that your phone isn't exactly asked to do much when you're gonna play Abyss because Abyss, as you can see, you don't have the overworld, so the world here is a lot more simpler and you don't have to load that many things. The arena is small, the, the amount of assets that you need to load the entire map is also much less, much fewer compared to if you need to load the entire overworld alongside with all of the NPCs, the plants, all of those things. So that is the reason why I usually don't use Abyss. Oh, okay, that was fast. <laughs> the, the setup process just literally murdered everyone. Uh, elemental mastery, that's good. Ah yeah. Why I like the Yoimiya here in the lower levels of the floors is because yeah, her range is real good. Not the perfect rotation, but for lower level floors, this is fine. Yeah, you see, it's fine. So for floor 10, uh, no element, this is a problem. This is also not a problem. So, whoops, this thing is getting in my way. What I'm gonna do is swap it around. Da, 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 da. 
Ah, yeah. Okay, never mind. How is this guy not OP? I still want to know. Okay, whatever. Your journey is about your head, all of seven. Your sacrifice is worth it. Clouds high, the birds come. Stars, shine for me. Let the world collide. Be sanctified. Go. Oh. I haven't even done much, and the guy went. Oh. Okay, you know what? We're done for this now because it's really half an hour in the game. Uh, yeah, so far, uh, even in Abyss, it doesn't feel particularly hot. So that's okay. I mean, Abyss, like what I mentioned earlier, it's supposed to not load that many external things in the game. So it is considered a very, how do you say this? Not so demanding area of the game. Like domains, for example, that's also not that demanding. So the overworld is definitely much more demanding. You can see looking this 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 little spiral tornado here. FPS does fluctuate. It does drop below 60 FPS for some time. And um, so far, still no signs of thermal throttling. My hand did get warm. I presume it's at about like 44, 45 degrees Celsius. And yeah, it's actually pretty good. So let us take the temperature right now. In many flavors to the discerning palate. Mondstadt's water is crisp and pure, while water from Liyue has an enduring aftertaste. In Inazuma, the water possesses a depth of flavor unlike any other. So Imagine if I AFK in the game, he's gonna read everything like this, always. 
Yeah, he's gonna do water review <laughs> consistently. So yeah, in terms of temperature, the front side hottest area is gonna be around the top side where my left thumb was. So that's about like 43.5 degrees Celsius. That's the highest that I can get here, which is actually very common for a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 phone. So at the bottom side, that's gonna be a bit colder. So about like 40.1 degrees Celsius. That's actually pretty good too. So yeah, in terms of temperature, the front part hottest is gonna be like around 44. That, that's the most that you're gonna get. Then at the back, so yeah, around the camera bump is gonna be hot. So 40, 41 degrees Celsius, that's gonna be quite common. Camera bump itself, colder, 39, 38, somewhere around there. And then the bottom side is gonna be around 39 degrees as well. So yeah, in terms of gaming performance on Genshin Impact, this is excellent. 8 Gen 2 is really good. I mean, even until today, Personally, I would prefer the 8 Gen 2 more than the 8 Gen 3 because it is just less heaty. Even though it does have a less, a lower performance floor, performance ceiling. Okay. Even though the 8 Gen 2 has a lower performance ceiling, I still think it is much more better for gaming compared to the 8 Gen 3. So let's now jump into the next game, which is gonna be uh, PUBG Mobile. Not gonna spend much time here because as what we have shown in many other previous games, uh, yeah, PUBG Mobile is just... I don't know why they don't enable all of the higher graphical options for everyone to use, so many phones can literally run PUBG Mobile without any issues at all. So here we have something called Extreme Plus. I have no idea what Extreme Plus is. Then balance, uh, yeah, the, the option is gone. I think this is the 90 FPS option, so I will just enable that because why not? So these are all of the other settings that I'm using. So let's hop into a game to show you what's up.
What the hell is this? So yeah, PUBG Mobile, uh, 90 FPS, really no issue at all. So I'm not gonna spend much time with this game anymore. So let's head to the next game. Oh wait, I need to eliminate this guy as well. Where are you? So graphical settings, uh, as to be expected, you can enable pretty much everything here, 90 FPS, ultra graphical settings, high render resolution, high graphical resolution, HD textures, anti-aliasing, all of those stuff, yeah. Um, maybe we should jump into the game a quick one. Yeah, this game only has 60 FPS, which is quite unfortunate. Damn, pretty much one crate and I have everything I need. Mm -hmm. 60 FPS, no issues at all. So, do I take those up or what? Can I use them? Oh, I forgot this isn't Genshin, I cannot climb. Yeah, anyway, uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can handle this game no problems at all with this whatever mode the game is actually playing in. I mean, it's quite fun. It's just that I don't think many people like you guys who are watching this video are interested in this game. Uh, yeah, I am planning to not include PUBG New State in future gaming tests. So let me know if you actually play this game. You know what, since we're so close to victory, let's just finish this. That smoke is so ugly. The hell? Oh, okay, victory. Okay, that's PUBG new state for you guys. It's uh, real good, no issues. So for COD Mobile, this game is excellent. We can go for medium graphics at ultra frame rates, which is 120 in this case. So yeah, as you can see here, 120 for multiplayer, 90 for battle royale and undead siege. If we go for high, then the option is just unavailable and I like frame rates, so I just go for this. And here are all of the settings that we are using. So super resolution turn on means it has increased render resolution not sure how much then variable shade variable rate shading is turned off and optical performance scope is turned on
Oh, what? Okay. Hostiles have the hard point. Hard point locked down. We've taken the lead. Target's in sight! Hard point contested. Enemy in sight! Target down! What is this? Oh, I forgot. That's rude. Yeah, 120 FPS, but we can't actually get consistent 120, so it does fluctuate quite a bit, but Still very smooth, no starters. There we go. So, as you can see from what we obtained just now, I don't really monitor the FPS meter that much since I'm paying attention to the game. Uh, performance is real smooth, no stutters. The frame rate does fluctuate a little bit, but that's okay. Now I'm surprised I got number three, but okay. So for Mobile Legends, we have technically everything that we want here. So we got the best graphical settings available so let's just hop into a game real quick this phone is obviously not going to be an issue for this game at these graphical settings So I'm not sure why we're getting like 50 FPS. This speaker is so strong I can feel the vibration through my left hand. So let me just show you real quick. We are at everything highest but I don't know why we're only getting 50 FPS. Oh, I know what's going on. Okay, so what's going on here is that this game has not been whitelisted by the firmware yet, so that's why we cannot get beyond 60 FPS, which is quite a shame. I thought, yeah, yeah, they updated their, their settings menu to unlock the option, but we have to do that manually. So even though we technically should be getting like 120 FPS, we are not getting it. So you know what, let me just do this real quick and I will show you how to do it. So head into settings menu, you shouldn't do this in a game by the way, go into display, scroll down, um, high refresh rate for specific apps, S find the game, Mobile Legends, where is Mobile Legends, ah you can see Mobile Legends is 60Hz by default so we change it to 120, then we go back into the game, hopefully this works and we don't have to restart, oh I died. But why though? And yeah, now we can get 120 FPS. I don't know why, even though this game is... Well, the, the game lets us enable 120 FPS for this phone in particular, but OnePlus just doesn't let us to do so. And uh, in terms of frame rate, we are getting somewhere around 110 to about 115. Very good, no problems there. Now 
Oh, now it drops back to 60 FPS. What the heck is going on? I'm very sure this phone can run at above at higher frame rates more like without any issues because you can see the CPU and GPU utilization isn't exactly that high. I shouldn't talk when I'm playing because I cannot focus on two things at once. Yeah, no idea what's happening but you should be getting 120 or at least near 120 FPS. So let me just go back and check for a while. So Mobile Legends still at 120. I'm not sure what's happening here. Ah, I hate this thing. That thing just auto hides every time I quit the game. So now we're getting 120 something, 100, 100 something frame rate, not 120 something. So yeah, a bit, a bit buggy there, but we should be getting somewhere around 110, 120 FPS. Why didn't he die? There we go, you don't have to worry much about your base if you are already near victory. victory. Not sure if that's something coming out of the out of war, but hey, there you go. So for Car X Street, as you can see here, I am using everything at the absolute maximum here. Not sure how this is gonna play out because this game is rather demanding, I can tell you that. Ah, another one of those games with the FPS limiter thing. So head back into this menu, find Car X Street. It is at 120, but I'm not sure why the game seems to be locking it. As you can see, no FPS limits, but for whatever reason, we cannot go beyond 60. Hmm. If we look at the floor or some, some random building, can we get higher than 60? So let's just go a quick race. I don't know what this is called. Oi. Okay, real good consistent frame rates, that's all I care about technically. I don't really care much about graphics. Uh, FPS stability comes first and then the graphical fidelity comes second. So far, even though I maxed out the graphics, I can still get very good stable frame rates even though it's not 60 FPS all the time but it's very smooth. Even better than something like the Xiaomi 14 Ultra for example or the Xiaomi 14 for that matter. Because those phones with the 8th gen 3, if I'm playing this game, they will thermal throttle to the point that it becomes a slideshow. But 8th gen 2, you don't have the heating issue, but you do lose out in terms of performance, in terms of raw maximum performance at least. But yeah, it feels real good for this phone to play Car X3. Okay, so before we head into War Thunder, remember to check this. It's 120, so that's good. Let's jump back into the game. So for War Thunder, uh, I'm just gonna max everything to see how things go. Now, uh, maximum ray tracing is gonna be detrimental for the 8th Gen 2 because the ray tracing performance is not gonna be as good as the 8th Gen 3 even though it does, it is able to do ray tracing on the 8th Gen 2 as well, just not as well. So let's just head into a battle. So the 8th Gen 3 can get somewhere less than 60 FPS in this game. I'm not sure the 8 Gen 2 is gonna be how much. So let's just jump into a game and see how, how much FPS that we can get. 
So remember, you've got an FPS meter at the top here, and this one has a different polling rate, so either one works. So now it's dropping to about 50 something, which is still okay, no problem. Ouch. I hate the navigation in this game. I mean, they're trying to be more realistic, but realistic isn't exactly fun, right? We're getting real stable FPS by the way. I'm surprised. 8 Gen 2 is literally better than the 8 Gen 3 in terms of gaming performance because it doesn't have that 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 heating issue on the 8 Gen 3 when we're trying to push it to give us more performance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 8 Gen 2 is better than 8 Gen 3. I don't know what I did there, but yeah, the, the gaming performance on the 8 Gen 2 is a lot more stable and also better compared to the 8 Gen 3. I can definitely feel the heat coming out from the back of the phone here and also the front of the screen, but it's not particularly uncomfortable to touch, I would say. So yeah, that concludes our gaming test for the OnePlus 12. So the summary is this, if you just want to buy a phone to play games, then actually the OnePlus 12R with the 8 Gen 2 is actually very competitive. In a way, it is better than 8 Gen 3 because it doesn't have the heating issue when we try to push it to give us more performance, like what I mentioned earlier. And that means you can get stabler frame rates. And for example, uh, Car X3, that's the best example that I can give you. That game is very good on this phone in particular. Now, I don't know what's the render resolution, but the gameplay, the graphics, they look fine to me and they actually are very smooth to play. So I have no issues at all if I'm going to play those games with the 8th Gen 2. Now, what matters here is the battery life, the cameras, and also the charging speed. And the charging speed is going to be the most polarizing one because this phone doesn't have a charger inside as you can see it is this thin only and we also did an unboxing for the oneplus 12r you can watch it at the top right corner there and uh, after playing all of those games for like about one and a half hours i started off at 100 percent i have only 78 percent left now we will talk about the efficiency of the 8 gen 2 versus 8 gen 3 in our full review for this phone so Stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, do like and subscribe and yeah, have a nice day. Peace.